Hey everybody, George Good here, and I am here today with my brand new tutorial for my minecart station. And I'm gonna set the time today because don't want all these mobs around. So this thing I think is pretty awesome because well, let me just tell you. You, see, you just hop in, you launch dead off, another minecart spawns. Nice and nice and quick. Then you can when you're coming back, if I can get a decent demonstration in here, just top in the minecart, coming back, destroys the minecart, and you can't see it, but it automatically puts it back to be dispensed again, so you never have to refill as long as you keep going back and forth. So I'm going to get the tutorial started really quick, as you can see. It's fairly compact. This does go down a little bit, but it's fine. So you're going to have three blocks wide for the cactus, five blocks wide for this thing. This is going to connect, so you're going to start out with a format that looks something like this. And just raise all these up too tall. Next, you're going to come over here, you're going to place a clip wire on each of these blocks and a string in the middle. Obviously that's so you can activate the clip wire, you can hear the noise. Quickly, hold on a second, I'm going to turn my volume down. Uh, next, you are going to take a dispenser, place it facing upwards there. You are going to take a hopper, shift click into the dispenser, break these two blocks, shift click into the hopper if you can, make sure you don't hit the ground. Second, this video, you can check that knob sort of thing, rather than facing down, it should be facing into that hopper. Then another another hopper right there. Next you're going to come back here, you're going to replace the block behind this hopper with sand, place a cactus on top of it, and a string on top of that. And that string there will prevent the cactus from growing. Next you're going to come around, make a frame around the cactus. Do not place a block directly next to the cactus, because that will break the cactus and we don't want that. Um Next, you're going to take your powered rails, you're going to come out three here, you're going to come out two here. Uh, you're going to break, make a hole there, you're going to take out a redstone torch, place it under this block, so that will be activated. Uh, next, you're going to basically, I did this in the wrong order, uh, place a rail right here next to this power rail, then that will make a curve, and you'll do that down here basically what this does so that when you're coming back you'll run into this cactus but when you're coming out you'll just keep on going mm, and that's all of part one framing and stuff so next you're going to come down under here and you're going to make a hole two blocks deep uh... not there sorry and just sorta if it breaks basically Take all the space you can without breaking out above the ground. Like, as you can, as you can see, it really takes up all of the space that you have. So what you're going to do is come back here, diagonal to the strip wire hook. You're going to get a piece of redstone dust. While I'm at it, I'm also going to get a few other things that I'm going to be using later. Okay, there we go. And you're going to take a sticky piston, face it downwards next to this redstone dust on the face of that sticky piston. You're going to put a redstone block. From there, you're going to take a repeater facing to the left, put it on four ticks. Then another repeater facing to the, sp the dispenser, also set on to four ticks. You're going to stick a block of iron between that. Um, next, you're going to... Oh, there's the dispenser. Sorry, that was my fault. What you're going to do here is um, beneath this rail, you're going to break the block and place a redstone torch onto the side. Then you're going to take a piece of redstone dust here, block here, redstone torch on there like that, so that both the redstone torches should be facing the same way. Then you're going to stick a repeater going into that. And if I am not mistaken, this is actually the entire contraption. 
So what I'm going to do quick is just give you a quick demonstration. I'm going to push a few of these in here. And I'm going to take some rail. And just make a quick loop. Alright, so. You can see the minecarts are already in there. You're going to just hop in the minecart. Don't have to do anything. It'll push you off automatically. New minecart's there. That minecart goes there. And it goes into the hot dispenser. As you can see, same amount of minecarts as there were before. You can just do this over and over. It will never break. And that is the entire tutorial. Now, just a few things. Um, just for aesthetic looks, I don't like this hopper here, so I like to cover this part up with slabs. That also prevents mob spawning near if you don't have that much light. You can also place them on top of here if you want. That doesn't look as good, but it works. It works. All right. Um, underneath all these rails, obviously, if you're like building it in the nether tunnel of sorts, which is probably the main use for this sort of stuff, um, just replace the blocks under those with iron. It doesn't matter what block, as long as it's a block that rails can be placed on and won't interfere with redstone. So no redstone blocks, nothing like that. And that is my entire tutorial. So if you guys liked this video, be sure to leave a like below. And if you really liked it, be sure to subscribe. But for now, that's all I have time for. So see you guys next time.